Adam Rashid of the Turbulent Wind. Remember the round one. Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Corporate Snuff here on the mic with you. We have Minister Sinister and Groovy Mango throwing down in the waning moments of game war, uh, round one, game one. Here we go, knockdown opportunity. This is big for Minister Sinister. Oh, he baits the wake up super back throw from, no, he doesn't get the back throw for optimal meter gain, but he wins the round. And he can't put a price on winning the round duel, can you? I'll take that as a yes. All right, here we go. Round two. Good punish there from Groovy Mango. Gets the knockdown. Here comes the Oki. Backs off. Gets a crush counter. V-meter built. Anti-air jab. Everything working for Groovy Mango right now. And just as I say that, the commentators curse. Oh, woo! Air countered. A million damage. But uh, Groovy Mango really not, not pressuring on Oki. I think he's expecting Minister Sinister to uppercut, but that's just not happening. Sinister there going for um, the patented Rashid, like millions of plus frames with the X Rowan shot into the neutral jump. Oh man, this is tense. This is tense. Nice! Bates anti jab. Minister, Sinister. Everything's just working right now. Oh, here it comes. Oh, shuts it down. There's the uppercut. Aaron spent all game baiting it. Okay, this is where. Uh, oh, whoa, this is crazy! What is happening? Oh my gosh! That was sloppy, boys. That was sloppy. That was sloppy. Both both players visibly distraught after that horrific performance at the end of game one. Oh man. Oh man, okay, let's regroup. Let's get that solid Street Fighter back under control. Aaron, thinking a lot, I'd like to see Aaron go for fewer DP baits. Like really, if you're baiting an uppercut, like that's a really big risk offensively because you're just giving everything up. But if you end up, um, unless the uppercut's gonna kill you because then you know that's just a 50-50 pretty much. All right, here we go, back to neutral. Groovy Mango, his neutral game is so good and Colleen's neutral game is so good. Let's see how he takes advantage of it. Nice, that throw was really good. Oh, ooh, that was the right idea there from Aaron, but Minister Sinister with the, um, the empty roll. But now, Groovy Mango in the corner, looking like he's under a little bit of duress. He reversals out. Oh, going for too many counters, and Minister Sinister is just baiting it. Throw of his own. And it seems like Groovy Mango just wants to get out at any cost. Like a Jordan Peele movie. Here's the drop kick. Okay, he's in the game. Oh, no! This is, I feel like Aaron is... Yeah, I feel like he's just out of ideas right now. This is a punish. Oh, it is a punisher. So now, okay. He's still in it. Aaron could make this comeback. It'll be really hard, though. Especially. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Taylor, maybe the only Rashid left using V Trigger 1, but he uses a pretty wall. But Aaron, though, Aaron has his back against the ropes here in the um, what could be the last round of game two. Match point. Aaron just really, really wants those counters. I think he's tried four or five counters so far this game. And he's back in the corner. Now we want to be against Rashid. He's not jumping out of the whirlwind shot pressure. You can jump out of all of it now, except for that one. Oh, no. Okay, we're staying resolute. Oh, no, here comes big damage. We're out here. Was oh, that stun? Oh, my God, is that death? Wow. Minister Sinister ties up the game nicely. Very clean. Over Groovy Mango. Um, yeah, people say that Rashid's dead, but you can tell that, you know, he's still living, still kicking butt, turbulent wind, still violent. Maybe not quite turbulent, 